So, verdict on the Cutthroat Apex One, right out of the box from the, you know, built this morning. Terravel Sparrowwood tires, not my favorite thing. Um, 29 by 2.2 is what comes with it. I know enough about the tires. So, Cutthroat, fantastic idea. I think that it's it's on that fine line of a mountain biker's road bike and a road biker's mountain bike. New day, new clothes, new tires. So now I've ridden this a couple hundred miles already and I love it. There's a few things I did change immediately. I changed the tires and I went with Continental Race Kings, which is great. Opinions about the bike. I've had a Fargo and I've had a Specialized LA. So, the Cutthroat's kind of right in the middle and has the best of both of those worlds. And I'm just using those as comparison. So take that as you will. It feels sturdy and comfortable like the Fargo, but it feels fast and racy like the LA. But it's not as fidgety and twitchy as the LA. Like I wouldn't race this on like a current race or anything, but it has more get up and go than a Fargo. Um, mostly it's carbon, so it's stiff and rides super well. Um, yeah. Stuff I enjoy. This one by, and then the 11 to 42. It's pretty sweet. It's really nice not having any, you know, mech here to worry about. And back here, it's really nice because you can get to like, you know, upper 20s, 30 before it tops out. So that's good. And then you can still climb anything with this. So it's a really nice range and it's really awesome. I will say the jumps between them are noticeably bigger, obviously, than a two by arrangement with a smaller cassette. So SRAM Apex One does have this clutch situation here. I never feel this chain slapping at all, anywhere. My pedals are just um, double-sided SPD pedals. All of the bottle cage mounts are pretty sweet. Three there, three on screws there, two there. Um, one, or one there, I think, maybe two. Two there. One, three on each side of the fork. It's crazy. One dislike, and maybe it's just the way that this is arranged, I'm not sure. But when I pull this and I'm going downhill and I'm pulling all the way in, that gets stuck, see? I don't like that there. But like, like, I'm not, I mean, like that's not even, it doesn't take much to get stuck. I don't like that. Um, it's probably because of the flare here, but on that note, these bars are pretty stinking awesome. I live down here. Um, and then really any time that I would be here, I end up just riding right here. Like right here feels so stable, why not do that? And then when it's super smooth and easy and pavement or something, then I just go here. So uh, these are, the cow chippers are pretty sweet. This seat cannot be replaced fast enough might fit some people's butts. My butt does not like it at all. I think they're 160 millimeters and I wish they could be 180. I mean, I have yet to have any issue, but I feel like the back brake runs out of power pretty quick on steep descents. And once I load this up, that's only gonna get worse. So that class five VRS is essentially Salsa's way of building the carbon fiber in a way that it absorbs and flexes more than normal. And so it kind of acts as a small amount of built-in vibration dampening. So cutthroat, awesome, highly recommend, and uh, good writing. So there you have it, let me know what you think. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm gonna look at these tires next. I'll talk more about this bag in another video and uh, saddle when it comes in. I also got a dropper post, so that's gonna be coming up pretty soon. And um, yeah, I'm also got um, porcelain rocket seat bag and 
the Revelate Designs harness coming. So there's a lot of good stuff coming. Also, I'm gonna talk about my uh, other bikes. So, yeah. Thanks. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, constructively. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe. See you later. Let me know what you wanna see. Thanks. This gravel just keeps getting bigger. Oh. Look kind of tired. <laughs> <laughs>